What do I do? I'm a shark attack resistant autonomous, uh, autonomously since 1980. Here we can find uh, the first group that we stay together. Mr. Hazin, Jeremy Cliff, uh, and others. We have 30 years age of shark attack research. We're doing all day staying in the shoreline because we are responsible for the security in the shoreline during this long time. I'm a sea survival instructor, and then I live with the, the, the sea. I understand what happened in the sea. I'm a lifeguard instructor because I created the system of the lifeguard team in Recife, Pernambuco, Brazil, and other uh, cities. I'm a professional diver, and then I have all the time into the water and begin to study, and I do a uh, a study about call during the research of human shark bites aspects. And all that I will tell you is the truth and based on my studies. This is Boa Viagem Beach in the year 1920. This is Boa Viagem Beach 2018. Note that no heavy people on the water because begin in 1995 are prohibited into in the water. And then this is one date that I would like to you listen and think because if the people no enter in the water, no shark research is correct in doing the percent of 97% of success. This is Boa Viagem Beach in a sunny day before the occurrence of shark attacks. And now, in our days, no people in the water, the possibility of having another shark attack, get down. This is the Jabotão River between Candeias Beach and Paiva Beach, big place where bull shark came to procreate and are one kilometer to the little church where the place that we have so much shark attack fatal. And they said, I listened yesterday at morning, because the port of Swat will be the coast. It's not the coast of Swat. Will they try on to have so much money from the port? The oldest case of shark attack in Recife was in October 10, 1947 and no have swap port. A Friday with a last quarter moon around 10.30 p.m. a.m., the victim was a priest called Frey Serafim. In the years of 60, they, in Portuguese, are right here, bullshit, is uh, wrong right, bullshit to talk about shock attack in Boa Viagem and Piedade, began in the year 60. And why this is important to our study? The answer is, this case occurred exactly in front of the little church in the Piedad Beach near Recife, where we had the most fatal shark attack in present days. I would like to talk about the information of 97% of success of Pernambuco research program using tagging shark and transporting or releasing in offshore. 97% of shark attack mitigation is a lie. We are doing more than 10 years denounced in very uh, reunions in the, the Ministry of Public, how can I say it? We question in so many opportunities this percentile and show the sub of shark attacks. Number of incidents may be much higher, admit Fabio Razin. Fabio Razin is the professor for the university responsible for the program. And 
the, in 1914, they said they have 97% of success. And after they let the command of the research, they said the number will be higher. And then if the number will be higher, the success is not what they said. What is our conclusion after this affirmation? This is 97% is a liar. And this affected the shark tag program around the world. Another evidence, if we have 97% of mitigation success between the Pernambuco shark research program, why they think to install shark nets? As in Sugera, began in 1994. Even this time, they tried to put shark nets, but is a liar. Because if you look at that, I have few time, but I have the dates here. 2006, 2007, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2013, and we are in 27 March, September. Uh, 2019, and we don't have no sh no shark nets, only lie to the people, only lie, and one government, another government, and will try to lie to the people. Other evidence, they do all to try to justify the success. I passed this six. Uh, slide with uh, no good, uh, a, a bar with bite. It. <coughs> the reality we have had more attack all this time long, 24 years. They do the research. Two weights and two measures. We had case of drowning in the official list of shark attack, for example. The necropsy, 92791 by no, 9.5, drowning, case 18, also list of friend of shark state. And to create su a success of the research, when the cause of death is drowning, they said that no case of shark attack. And in this way, they reduce the number of the reality of shark attacks. To reduce the statistic of shark attacks, the scientists claim to the body of drone are beaten by shark after death. The reality, when occur one drowning, the body does not have bite scavers, and the drone victim stay with the body integral. And what they responsible for the research said in a conference. This is a slide of Fabio Hazin presentation in Brazil that say, will bodies of drowned people with shark bite still occur only receive? And they showed this and said that, and said that this case was occurred in year of 2005 in Itararé, Bahia. But the picture is mine. I stay with the victim. I stay all time, I stay with all victims that are happening in Recife City. And the photo, I take this photo in Piedad Beach in front of the little church in May 1, 2004. This boy will be bite at 3 p.m. and the body appear at 5 p.m., two hours only, over the, the sea. And then, is there, they here. But they lie to the people, lie everybody, every time. This is the boat that doing the research and said that they caught a, a, a shark, put inside the deck and release 8, 10 kilometers or 14 kilometers distance that we last five hours in the sea. How can they put this inside? How we talk about success of research to mitigate the shark attack problem if the reality the beach girls and surfers are prohibited to enter in the sea? And we, if we do not have beach girls, need a surfer, we do not need no more research. Like you stay here, if you don't have 
the right to enter the water. That to me is terrible on one thing like this because we stay on an island and the sea around us and it's prohibited to enter the water. And then if no have authorization to the people into the water, we can't talk about success of no shark tag in probably no one. We have victims of shark attack alive that they simply do not put in the official list. I talk about this because I'm teaching the, and created the lifeguards team and I stay there to help the people. I help so many people. And this is the relate right the a team that rescued the, the man. They may stay alive, but they said one more, one man less is not a problem. We don't put it, it don't stay. To conclusion, here like receive the people have the right to use the shoreline. The shark tagging program do not protect anybody because do not tag all sharks. I listen to all everybody talking about here, but we try to understand what the victim is doing to be attacked and what have near where the attack will be occur to be uh, uh, another kind of uh, shark attack. The Pernambuco shark research do not have 97% of success. We need to continue to improve our knowledge and change experience. And this is the way to forward against uh, shark attack. The, the, we have so much thing. I think that if you use one equipment like this, you will be protected. Thank you for the assistance. I my contact in Nate Souza da Silva. My email, my WhatsApp, and my uh, Facebook. I would stay here to, if possible, to talk about because I have 38 years of study and try to reduce it to 10 minutes and talk so much things that I, I could would like to talk to you is so much fewer. Thank you very much for all. Yes. Thank you.